Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be testing out Evelyn up against Lissandra. Made a different build than the normal Evelyn build or my normal Evelyn build. So we'll see how that works. First, let's go over her star powers. So when you level up an allied champion, grant allies everywhere 2-2. Two, two. So that everywhere is even units that haven't been created yet. They're not on your board or in your deck. So just all of your units, no matter where they are, even if you create them, are getting these extra stats. So that is really nice, especially for Evelyn, because she can actually level up multiple times. Now we also have Love Eternal, plus one starting mana. The first time you kill a follower each round, create a fleeting copy of it in hand. So this is whether you kill an allied follower or an enemy follower, you're able to get a fleeting copy of it in hand, so you can try to play it, which can be a nice way to fill out your board. For the relic setup we're going with, normally we would used to go with just all of the level up relics. So level up rally, level up stun, and then level up create a copy of our champion spell in hand. But for Evelyn, we really want to get her on the board and scaling right away. Up against Lissandra, you cannot take a couple rounds to really get going. You have to be get going right away. And also crowd control is much more important than going more aggressive. So the setup we're going with, Starforge Gauntlets, Power, if I'm Titanic, plus one starting mana. We're pairing that with the Luminous Orb, so plus three power, and I can block units with Elusive. This is to get us to the eight power threshold, so we count as Titanic. That way we start with three mana, Evelyn's four mana, so we can play one unit round one, and then the very next round play Evelyn. And then the Tempest Blade, when I level up, stun all enemies. With Evelyn, you can level up up to six times in a match, and normally that is really overkill, but against Lissandra, might not be. So we're going to be trying to just stun the enemy board every single round and working on scaling up our units as much as possible. Now, if you appreciate all this daily Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe. And if you want even more content, check the description down below. There should be a lot of links down there that I think you'll enjoy. All right, let's get into it. All right, so we have Volibear, Jinx, Zillion. So I've seen you destroy two allied time bombs. Don't think we really want that. Jinx wouldn't be terrible because we could play her for free and she would just be a solid unit. Volibear would be pretty expensive. We also want to think, are we going to be able to level up this champion? Because that can give all of our units another 2-2. Hopefully we're never going to level up Jinx. We want don't we don't want to have our entire hand empty. Volibear, even though he's massive, I feel like he would be a little bit too slow. Although Grant get an extra mana gem. That wouldn't be terrible for two mana. I think let's try a reroll, see if we can get something a little bit better. All right, Braum, not bad. Gangplank, you've damaged the enemy access in five different rounds. Warning Shot, Monkey Idol. I do like that discard. I think we'll go for Braum. He's relatively cheap. He's not that hard to level up. The Mighty Poro is decent, and Elixir of Sorcery is also pretty solid. So we'll just go here. We're hoping to maybe get someone like Gnar or Nidley, where they would level up and down a bunch of times, so we could get even more scaling. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll just go for Braum here. Alright, power. Vanguard Lookout, Seed of Power, Bouncing Blades. Two units at the start of the game. Could be decent to have the extra blockers. Our board can struggle to get a little bit too crowded, but I think this could be okay. Especially in some of these early fights where they can put a lot of pressure on you early, so if you can't block, you might really struggle. All right, let's see what we can get for the shop. Iceborne Gauntlet, not bad. Just being able to immediately take out an enemy target. I mean, most of the enemy units are going to be stunned anyway, so it doesn't quite matter as much, but could still be really solid just to get rid of an enemy unit permanently. Well, hopefully permanently. So this is good, but not 100% going for this. Let's see, elusive. Yeah, I think we will grab this. Could be nice to have. And we'll actually just get more copies of this because we just want more of it in our deck. Normally, we're not going to get the cost reduction, but could be helpful here or there. I think we'll save our rerolls for later. All right, so it that stares down here. Draclorn in the middle. I think let's go for the top. We can fight against She Who Wanders. Haven't, I've only done it like once, so. We can test it out again. All right, so up first, Heart of the Fluffet with all things grow cold. 
All right, we have Braum. Let's get rid of Warden's Prey and Hate Spike. Similar to Elise that we just played, uh, this is another deck that really needs to have their champion. All right, wonderful. All right, so the game plan here is to play one of our units that summons a husk. And just get them on the board. That way, when we play our Evelyn, she can immediately level up. All right, perfect. They didn't open attack, so we can immediately play our Evelyn. You must have heard the screaming. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to get jealous. So as you see right here, come on, show off. There we go. At the bottom there, if fewer than six allies died this game, she transforms back into her non-leveled state. So this is what's letting us level up and down, but it also means it's kind of limited on how many of our own units actually end up dying. So other than our husks that kind of have to die, we're going to try to have as few units die as possible. We could play Braum here, but we could also drop the Mighty Poro, and that would get a big attack off. So let's go ahead and actually do that. Alright, GG. Well, maybe. Yep, still GG. Awesome. Uh, it's a little rough getting two more copies of our Braum because that reduces the odds that we're going to get our Evelyn, which really isn't great. We don't care about Heart of the Fluff it. I guess we'll go for Battle Fury. Maybe there might be a match later on where the game's going super late. We play this and then we can just get it to go off a bunch of times with doubling dice and it wins us the game. Maybe. Uh, yeah, let's let's grab this. We need to have the highest probability of drawing our Evelyn possible. So kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to draw a champion. I think we're actually going to go and do this because we need to have our Evelyn. So out of the three of these, I think this will be best for us. All right, Starless Seer with Frost Gathers. All right, let's get rid of Braum and Battle Fury and the Viper Worm. We have our Evelyn, so we just need one of our units that summons a Husk. There we go, perfect. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. I think we can just pass, that's fine. We see through all. This would be a good winter. Uh oh. Okay, good. I was a little worried they were gonna open attack. That's kind of the one thing we need to watch out for. Mind if I slip into something a little more painful? All right, so stunning their entire board, buffing up all of our units everywhere. We could play more, but she's going to summon another husk. Scream for me. I think once again, we'll just drop our mighty Poro, get a Let's big attack in. We're pretty much just scaling out of control. And that's another GG. Nice. Alright, so far Evelyn is just absolutely destroying here. Uh, we don't really want any of these, but I guess we'll go for the Sculptor. Alright, Bone Scryer with I Am Inevitable. That could be annoying. Alright, pretty good... 
But let's actually get rid of these three. We just need to be sure we draw one of our other units. Steam isn't quite there because he's a four cost. Okay, there we go. We're probably going to try to hit up both the Mind Meld and the uh, Ethereal Remitter. I think they could be pretty good for us. All right, drop our Evelyn. Start the level up process. Mind if I slip into something a little more painful? Also, us having that vulnerable is going to make the Elixir of Iron even better. In the name of the Solari. Right, that's fine. Uh, sure, we can just attack like this. That's fine. That was hot. Let's keep going. All right, so we don't have our Poro. So let's go ahead and drop our steam. Ready for a little splish splash steam? Always. All right, so we'll attack like this. I think we'll buff him up with Elixir of Iron since he's able to get that scout attack off. There's only one true life. I love it when they scream. All right, so all of these are pretty good. Granted, we could have some of these die, which we don't really want our units dying, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, their unit. Interesting. One of their units didn't have formidable. So yeah, that's just round start. Interesting. That's it. I want more. By the strength of our convictions. All right, we can go and play Brom. He'll be pretty busted for formidable. We're gonna struggle to level up Evelyn next round just because we don't have any spaces. I suppose we could use Rite of Calling though. And we could just play this right here. Yeah, it's not too bad. That was hot. So we don't really need to worry about leveling up again. Because we already have more than enough damage. They do have blockers, though. We'll just let him get his scout attack off. GG. All right, Solitude. Not great that it's a five cost, but another one of our uh, husk units. All right, Honored Lord. We can get something for Evelyn. Really don't want her to die, and we don't want her to cost more. So I think we'll just go for this Savage Shield to get a lot more stats and make her a bit harder to kill. All right, when you level up a champion, all players discard their hand. So that is interesting. This could be really good against Lissandra just to get rid of all of her cards. The issue is we're going to be discarding our entire hand like every round. And that could really mess us up because we need to plan out our uh, cards to be able to keep leveling up our champion. So yeah, I think we won't bother. You know what? Let's let's risk it. We're going to be discarding our cards pretty much every single round. And yeah, that could be bad for us, but with the Ethereal Remitter, you always have to ask yourself, is this going to be worse for me or worse for the enemy? I think this could be worse for her, so we'll try to do this. Granted, the one issue is it's going to be helpful for her, but it's going to screw us potentially all the other ways up. Uh, what does she have? I'm inevitable. Of course she does. 
She always has that. Alright, power, balancing blades, endurance, sticky fingers. Um, we're gonna grab Nab, actually. So, since we're gonna be discarding our cards, we need a way to get more cards now so that we can keep having units to play, to level up, and we're not... We're going to try to not really take damage. We don't really want this necessarily. It's not really going to help us. Taking the enemy cards, since we're discarding our entire hand, like every round, could actually be the best option here. We're trying to save our rerolls for the mind meld. So I think we actually want to get this, which is hilarious. All right, Hollow Blood. When one of the players strikes the foe's nexus, grant it negative two power. Then if it had less than four power, obliterate it. And at last they awaken so they can get another Watcher in hand. Uh, let's see how we do. All right, let's get rid of most of these. Even though they're solid, again, we just need to get our Evelyn. All right, good. We have Evelyn. Well, good thing we're going to discard this, maybe. Uh, we'll actually just take the hit. That's fine. We don't want more of our units to die. We want Evelyn to scale up. All right, so we play Evelyn. She levels up. And then I think both hands are just going to get completely discarded. See what's inside. That was hot. Yep, so there goes our hand. There goes their entire hand. Which means they have nothing to play now. Which is kind of hilarious. Uh, these would die. We don't want that happening. So yeah, we'll attack like this. This is actually, especially with that nab, potentially going to be really good. The issue is we need to have a unit to level up now so that's gonna be hard okay we got one lucky once again we'll just level up looking for satisfaction Oh, this is going to be interesting. Let's keep going. So, yeah, we'll play this because by playing this, we'll level up again, scale up a whole board, and they won't have anything to play. Ready for a little splish splash scene? It is funny that if we do this, yeah, they just they have literally no options. All right, GG. This is kind of hilarious to me. All right, we don't really block that much anyways. Getting more copies of this is good. So Grand Plaza, Mind Mel. Let's go ahead and go here. There's a lot of cards we want to cut. Uh, we can get rid of the Elixir of Iron. Get rid of that. Uh, we can hold on to all of these, so we'll use a reroll here. Pretty much we're wanting to keep all of her support units and Evelyn. <laughs> yeah, we'll get rid of Battle Fury. We're taking a lot of damage because we're having to pay, but this should really help us out. All right, we'll leave it around there. We have 22 cards. All of them are units except the hate spike, so hopefully when we discard our hand, no matter what we draw, we'll have something that can level up our Evelyn again. Uh, so that should be decent. All right, Scar Mother with I am inevitable. All right, so pretty much, oh my word. 
as long as we don't lose in like the first round, we should be good for like all of these adventures. Because we're really just taking away pretty much all of the enemy's options. And even like right here, we start with the attack token. I mean, we don't care about attacking, but that just means they can't attack. So as long as they don't open attack, then we'll be pretty solid. Granted, they might. Okay, good. See what's beneath while I see what's inside. Alright, so there goes all of their cards. And we're just going to keep scaling up more and more. And yeah, I think whatever we draw now should be fine. Now, the one issue is we don't have a lot of cards. So if games go too long, then we might struggle. That's just great. There's they can't play anything. It's just wonderful. They literally have no options. leveling up so many times the one issue is we're not going to be able to really level up again Back on the prowl. unless we draw one of our other nope all right so hey, you there. i think let's just attack and yeah they only have four health so there's nothing they really should be able to do come here darling All right, GG. All right, get more copies of one of the cards we already have. Perfect. Let's go to get Ancient Coin. We could play her round one. Doesn't matter that much, though, because we still need to have one of our other units summoning a husk first. I think Deathless would be the best. All right, shop. Reckoner's Mark is tough. We want to get more copies of this unit, but we also don't really want it to die. Although if we play it later on, it'll have such crazy scaling, it doesn't matter. Uh, Scout. Sure, we can pick that up. And yeah, we can actually... We want more copies of the cards we care about in our deck. Alright, got unlucky there. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. All right, didn't get that lucky in the shop. But we'll be all right. Sparring student, healer, champion item chest. I'll go for either the healer or the champion item chest. Let's see how Anivia does with secrets hidden by Frost. It is going to be a bit of an issue that the enemy starts with 10 mana. All right, so again, we could play Evelyn, but we'll open up with one of our other units first. That's not great, but we'll just pass. So yeah, as long as they don't open attack, we're just going to immediately play our Evelyn. She will probably capture their Mind Splitter. Yes, so she'll keep those ones from getting stunned. Was open you stop by. She's been missing you, has she? Maybe I'll satisfy her craving. Mind if I slip into something a little more painful? That was hot. Alright, all of their cards just gone. Doesn't matter they have ten mana, because they have nothing to play. 
also we have first action. So we're going to play, level up, and discard their one card. I love the fact that we're just making it so there's literally nothing they can do. Alright, let this get its scout attack off. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and end the round. For me. Let's keep going. You finished the last group already. Again, the issue is we're gonna struggle to level her up next round. Because our board is just too full. That was Let's just attack like this with our scout attack. And it'll probably just be game. Yep, GG. Perfect, getting us the start of the game. <laughs> Wonderful. And yeah, let's go for the champion item chest. Shadow Totem. Uh, I don't think we really want that. We could just grab the Farsight just so we know. We're getting Evelyn, we have Farsight on the other unit. This should be good. Granted, it is Lissandra, but let's let's see what we can do. All right, our opening hand doesn't really matter. We know we're gonna draw our Evelyn and we know we're gonna draw one of the other cards we want. It is a little bit of a pain that they start with the attack token. That is definitely not the best for us. You will speak when I allow you. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. So yeah, we will just pass. And we can let these ones die. I think that'll be fine. We'll open up our board anyways, although it will reduce the amount of units we could play or amount of times we could level up. I think we'll just let one of them die. Hmm. Well, say goodbye to all of your cards. You must have heard the screaming. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to get jealous. Why? Who happened to you? See what's beneath while I see what's inside. That's it. Ah, oh, wonderful. All of those annoying cards of hers just all gone. Hey, look, ice shards. Grand, we're never going to play this because we would just help them. It is annoying that they have their Lissandra on the board. And we're going to struggle to get rid of her. But at least they'll be stunned most of the time. Well, that figures. So, I wonder, right now they're doing damage and they're killing us. If we play this, we will be killing our own unit from our own ice shards. So they'll be scaling up more and, yeah, be really big, but we're going to level up, stunning them all. And so all the damage we're taking is just ice shards. So yeah, let's go ahead and counter their ice shards with our ice shards. Playtime. 
So yeah, definitely annoying that they try to open attack, which pretty much means that we might lose next, not this round, but the next round that they have the attack token because they're just gonna immediately try to do that again. Because like we can make them discard it when it's our turn, but can't really do that <laughs> when they can just act immediately. All right, we've had five units, so she'll level down. We'll get one more level up going. <laughs> this will be funny to use against them if they try to open attack. Scream for me. Impress me. Let's keep going. So we could play this guy, but he would just immediately die. But, yeah, we don't really have a choice. Oh, well. Where's your lively better hat, Waiting on a meal, ma'am. Oh, he might be strong enough, actually. Time to meet. Don't waste my time. Yeah, we've had enough units so that we're not going to be able to level anymore from our Evelyn. Which isn't great. We'll play this and try to do a very large scout attack. I'm definitely worried about what their one card is and their ice shard. Alright, it's kind of fine that they're actually playing that right away just so we can see what they're all at. We should be fine here. Alright, so the Lissandra's big enough to block one of these, but she can't block both. And the other one can kill whatever they throw at us or try to block with. Oh, of course, she drew another one. Ah, uh, that's annoying. We do have our elusive, though, so. All right, let's just attack with our elusive. There shouldn't be anything they can do. GG. All right, Evelyn worked out quite well there. Not too surprised. Also, I'm very happy that my uh, Evelyn build did work out quite well. I think this will be better for, especially Lissandra. I think if you're taking Evelyn into other adventures, you can still go no with all the like normal level up relics and that'll probably be really fine and a lot of fun. But for some of these slower matches, especially against Lissandra, going for this sort of build where you can get Evelyn on the board round two and just CC the entire board while you're scaling up will be quite strong. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, definitely like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.